straight leg one I had before. Kiwami. Okay. And it's all wild game. It's uh, bear, elk, deer, antelope, and pork. It's That's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. It's a little bit, a little bit spicier than. Uh, How are you? I'm good. How are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Absolutely. Did you My just gosh. get to town? I've been in town a little bit. Oh. I think he's supposed to be all right. Bro. Dress him up. I didn't hear him for him. Dress him up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Appreciate it. Did you get my good set? Yep. Not uh, negative. Uh, look at the jawline. Yeah? Alan Jackson, <laughs> older brother. Alan Jackson's older brother. Rodeo season and really kicking in the gear with a hundred rodeos in a hundred days. What a cowboy Christmas. But before we get into all that, the big numbers on the other side of this break. Use the face of raising money for great causes. Breaking down, David Mamley putting the camera up, getting ready to go do the show with Amy Wilson. In the meantime, we got to go to a production meeting on the other side of the ground. So, uh, just about to come back for the carnival rides later. Yeah, y'all got any free samples for the rodeo announcer? <laughs> yeah, I can give you a free sample. Seriously? I will give you a free sample. Are you sure. kidding me? No, I I'm wasn't not expecting that. <laughs> I was really, th I thought you would say, no, we can't do that. I'll, for you, I would do it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Playing the announcer card. It's a smaller version of our island. It's everything we have in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is a sample of one of our, our islands. It's just it's like huge. that, but bigger. Okay, be lit. Do you have any uh, announcer free samples? Here you go. What? This is the greatest job ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Very good. We're talking about how awesome this is. Okay. It's a 10,000. Good trade? Yes. Good trade. A Coke? Uh, yeah. I've never turned down free food or drink in my life. That's Thank amazing. you, sir. Oh my gosh. I've been here for 35 years. I'll put, I'll put that in to what I say. I, oh, wow. Is this where we ordered? Yep. What can we get for you? Sir? Well, do you have any uh, announcer, rodeo announcer samples? Yes, I do. You do? Oh, yes. It's kettle, caramel, or white cheddar. Ah, uh, kettle corn. Kettle. That's a huge sample. Well, you know what? We don't want you to go hungry. The people at St. Paul are the best. <laughs> The best, thank you so much. Hey, Talk you. about we, how that we, good it smells. We have been here filming kettle corn for 26 years. 26 years? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So we're not quite as long as the St. Paul Rodeo. But you been, it's a good track yeah, record. He, he got us started with it. I love so, it. It's a family business. All right, I'm gonna come back next year. We'll do a whole story. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right. Yeah. We literally have an announcer sample of ravioli. Of ravioli. I've never had ravioli at a carnival before. Fried ravioli. Fried. Fried ravioli. Yes. Do it up, Kyle. Do it up, Kyle, she says. She said, do it up, <laughs> Kyle. I can't wait to see what this is. Do you have an extra, like, mozzarella stick just kind of in the way that you kind of need rid of? Maybe a uh, chicken parmesan, fried pickles. There's, your, little, there's oh. your rodeo sample. Ask and you shall receive. It's like the good book right here. <laughs> Come on in. For them, it's going to say barrel racer interview area. And we need to tell you. have someone there, like, since you're going to be there, you can hold their horse. Well, yeah, you know, more great trickle. minds think alike. More too, Chris. <laughs> Did you eat all your food? Or? Well, the food we got at the carnival was kind of an appetizer. <laughs> this is the good stuff. <laughs> I hear I hear fine out of my left ear. It's my wife ear that I don't hear very good out of. Poor genie. <laughs> Poor genie. <laughs> You're right. See you guys. 
I've been not. Did you have a sack card? Sack card. Screen actors killed me. I know. How do you do? We're going to take you where the magic happens. Everybody knows that I talk a lot about the famous, uh, world famous strawberry shortcake in St. Paul. They grow the berries here in the valley. The Booster Club makes the shortcake. They bring it up to the announcer stand. Somehow, like magic, I'm able to eat it while I'm announcing. Go figure. Hey, I wanted to see where the magic happened. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> well, I am an expert <laughs> at eating it anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the expert consumer. Okay, so we have our famous Willamette Valley Pie Company shortcakes. So, local shortcake and buckets of strawberries. Buckets and buckets of strawberries. They do these. It's like nectar, like it strawberry is. nectar. And low sugar, get. low sugar. Oh, fat free, low cow. <laughs> <laughs> Then we put a good scoop on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mouth is watering, literally. Watering. Yes. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> oh, I can't believe what's happening. And we put our famous dollops right on there. Right on top. And we have Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Is that yeah. not gorgeous? That is one of life's most amazing treasures right there. Strawberry Shortcake is the backbone of the St. Paul Athletic Department. It is. Go Bucks! Go Bucks! Well, they One of the best days Wait, ever. I'm getting free stuff know. right and left. <laughs> it's one of the many reasons I love coming to St. Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The food expert. Just remember, you're the food expert. That's me. That's what I come and ask you. So you got my number. Uh, <laughs> you have any questions about food? <laughs> Pretty much at any rodeo. We'll at any rodeo table. We'll call you. Okay, well, everybody say hi. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. How are you guys? You need a water or anything? No, thank you. You got anything to eat? Yeah, what you need? We got it all. <laughs> Have a good night. Good right. see ya. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's family? There's the senator right there. And that's the one you got. Is that the senator? Yes. <laughs> all right. And I'm Justin McKee, Senator. Justin. Good to meet you. Yeah. We are so proud of him. He loves the strawberry shortcake. He's up there. Every time. We just left there. Every time. We just literally two minutes ago finished some strawberry shortcake. And it's fantastic. So it is fantastic. Hey, let her rip, Tater Chip. Let her rip, Tater Chip. Let her rip, Tater Chip. That's right. So you'll be hearing him tonight at the road. All right. They're all Western. Uh, I've, I've, I've eaten three times <laughs> in the last hour. I can't believe I'm actually turning down free food. Maybe the first time I've ever done it. All right, you talked me into it. Okay, yeah, never mind. Oh, if you want a beer, where's, some where's the plates? Plates, plates are right over there okay. in the end right. here. We gotta get some plates going. You know that? Here, right we are right now. It is pre rodeo 2023. We are rounding the band. Now, what does that mean? It's performance number four. This is where Justin McKee, in Next the past, ball. has taken the lead, okay? I mean, last year when he whipped his shirt off straight the arena, that was amazing. But I feel like there's more in store tonight. I don't remember that. He never does. He never remembers the good stuff. Now, let's steal my ball. Give my ball back. Hey!
Justin? What's up, buddy? How's the girl? She's two years. She's all right. She's all right off. Okay. Well, she's impressive. God. You getting an autograph? I didn't get an autograph. Did you get one? No, not yet. After I. Okay. Really. All right, Chris. Hey, thanks for the picture. Yeah. That's a good one too. Look at that. How old are you? Nine. Nine. How long have you been riding bulls? Three years? I rode sheep a lot, so. All right. All right. Well, keep it up. You're tough, too. Thank you. I like that. I, yeah, I separated the AC right there. I just never got it fixed? No, I mean, it doesn't bug me anymore. That is gnarly. Yeah. Rodeo time? Uh, yes, I got one more. One more dish. <laughs> Finish up before we start. sound good i like the way you look i like the way you sound i like the reason we are here welcome to the world famous saint paul rodeo i'm justin mckee and we are so glad that you're here we've got a big good lineup for you at the world's richest fourth of july rodeo celebration that's some good cowboy music there austin i like that Ooh, i like that turn it up there you go I like it. I like it. All right, here's the deal. I got good news for everybody here. Everybody that's here tonight. You don't have to be John Wayne, George Strait, or Stetson Wright to play cowboy tonight. If you're here, you're on the team. How many of you are ready to get Western at the St. Paul Rodeo tonight? Sliding slam nasty on that one. 4.2. Way to go, Big Jake. 4.2 is going to put him in the dough. Okay. There it is. What? That's the name of my new drink I'm going to make in the tap room. What? The Sliding Slam Nasty coming to you quick <laughs> from the tap room. <laughs> going to mix. Well, Abbott Valley Hops, we grow a lot of beer in this valley. Well, the hops, anyway. Those great big tall plants that are about 15 foot tall, that's the hops. I think these bulls sometimes get in those fields the way they're getting in the air and hopping. Holy hopping hops. See you later. Don't let that gate hit you on the way out. Took his kids to the carnival last night. This is not looking like any no, fun. No, you know, when we saw him, he said that he was going to take his kids to the carnival, but I talked to his little girl tonight at supper. She said, Dad didn't take him to the carnival. And as you can see what happens, a little frontier justice there. That's Maybe right. he should have taken the kids to the carnival. I Lesson know. learned. Larry Mayhead was uh, in a class all of his own. A guy that loved the game, loved the lifestyle, but he loved people. And people, anybody that had met him, loved Larry Mahan, and he passed away about a month and a half ago. What? And he sure was an amazing asset to our lifestyle and to the game of rodeo. So Larry Mahan, we know you're enjoying this rodeo. You competed here a lot of times. We appreciate the memories. Oh, glory on a 4th of July weekend celebration of the Cowboy at the St. Paul Rodeo. World, Wyatt Casper, Texas Cowboy. Yes, sir, yes, sir. He is scratching one out tonight. Uh, Jimmy Jones in here, Obama. Sandy Jones, Culver, Oregon. This lady can weld. <laughs> Not only that, 
church all night long. I'm not Amen. asking you to do that. I'm asking no. you to do the flashlight way. That's right. So you We're going to let you ease out of here and have a great rest of your night. God bless you. And God bless this great country that we love so much. Thank you, folks. Can't wait to do it again when you're here. Take me home.